welcome to the 2021 Refuel Parent Meeting video. We're so excited for camp this year. We are taking a wonderful group of students, volunteers, and leaders to Carolina Creek in less than a week. Are you ready? Well, we're ready. I just wanted to take a minute to go over a couple of things with you so that way you know what to expect, what to pack, um, and what we're gonna be doing this weekend coming up with your students at camp. The first thing is please read the email. Um, I appreciate you watching this video, but we're not gonna give you all of the information in the video. So take a moment, read the email. One of the things in the email is a COVID screener. The camp requires that we do a COVID screener form for each person attending camp. Your check-in process on Friday will go a lot smoother if you're able to have that COVID screener filled out before you arrive. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you about our our curriculum we'll be using this weekend. It's called Pause or The Pause, um, and we have four amazing sessions for this curriculum we are going to be doing with your students this weekend. They will all receive a book like this. We are going to have a fun sticker so they can write their name on it. Um, and then it has all of the information for their sessions and their small group sessions in here as well. First session is called Hitting Pause. And it's to help students understand the basics of what it means to hit pause and to begin thinking about what's keeping them from doing so. Session two is called Talk the Talk. And it's to help students grasp the extreme importance of prayer and developing and maintaining a relationship with God and to teach them Christ's model for praying to God. Session three is knowing the Bible, to help students go deeper in their knowledge of God by applying the Bible study techniques learned in this lesson. And then session four is called hitting play. So now we're gonna lead students to embrace the mission of being God's messengers of the reconciliation that Christ offers to all people. This Bible study or uh, curriculum, sorry, that we're using is very, I'm very excited about it. We're hitting pause. How often, who, who out there parents need to hit pause sometimes? Um, our students do too. And we're also very excited because we this year have purchased these devotionals. So we are excited because they'll be able to take what they learned at camp and take that into real life application. These are four weeks of devotionals that they'll be able to do following camp uh, on their own. We highly encourage you parents to encourage your students to do this. Ask them about it. Hey, have you had a moment to do this? What is it about? How's it going? What did you think? Those are kind of questions that are great for keeping the dialogue open, learning about what they learned about, and keeping them uh, motivated to do it. I'm gonna go over the schedule and the packing list with you. Um, it's all pretty similar if you've been to a previous camp of what we do. There's a couple of changes. The first change is that we are aiming to leave early uh, on Friday, earlier than we normally do. We usually get to camp pretty late and it gets us started late, so we're gonna try to leave a tiny bit earlier. Check-in is gonna be in at 5 p.m. on Friday, from 5 to 5.30. And you need to feed your kids before you come. We are gonna have some pizza later on in the night, probably closer to 9, 10 o'clock. So make sure that your kids eat something for dinner. Check-in process is gonna to be to enter through entrance five. Miss Kim and Miss Angela are gonna be there to get you guys all checked in. You'll bring your luggage into the Life Center. We'll circle up, we'll talk a little bit about expectations and rules, and then we will un offload you uh, onto the bus, on, on board you, that's the right, on board them onto the bus and head to camp. That's gonna happen uh, ideally around 6.15. And then that night we're gonna have camp session, we're gonna have pizza and small groups, and we're gonna have an amazing late night game. Um, and that's gonna wrap up day one. Day two, I'm not gonna go through all of that with you. I could, uh, but it's not completely necessary for you to know. But it is a fun-filled day of sessions, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and some amazing field games and super fun things that we have planned for you. On Sunday, uh, they'll eat breakfast, they'll clean up their cabin, we'll do our last session, and then we are gonna head home. It says 10.30, we usually end up a little bit earlier. What we'll do is we'll keep you updated on Facebook for our travel time so that you know when we're gonna be back at Gateway. Uh, our goal is to be back, we'll be back for sure before 12.30, but keep an eye out because it could be earlier than that. 
Moving on to the packing list. So here are the things that you need to bring to camp. Um, we are not required to wear masks inside um, anymore. You are welcome to wear a mask. If your student prefers to wear one, that is fine. Uh, we'd recommend that you bring hand sanitizer, bedding and a pillow. Sleeping bags work perfect for the type of beds that we have uh, at camp. <clears throat> we need to bring a towel, soap, and toiletries. This includes deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, that kind of stuff. Uh, they do not supply that. They do have toilet paper, so do not need to pack toilet paper, but they don't have towels. I recommend two towels, so that way if we have one that's wet, we'll hang it over a bed, let it dry. If they get wet in an activity or a game, they've got the other one as backup. Insect repellent. Uh, we are going to be out in the middle of the woods. There probably are insects or bugs. So if, you're, if you need that, just make sure it's non-aerosol. So the little pump kind, perfect. A flashlight or headlamp. Um, we are doing some late night games and other activities once it's dark. It does get dark pretty early now. Uh, so make sure that they have a flashlight or a headlamp works actually really great. Uh, jacket or sweatshirt is on the list, but we've got you covered on that one because all of the students will be receiving this awesome, awesome hoodie when they check in on Friday. <laughs> they need to bring pajamas and appropriate clothing for the weather. Um, we will be sending uh, the weather forecast in the email as well, so you can check that out. To me, it looks like as low as in the 40s, so yay, we'll get to wear the hoodies. And then maybe up to some 70s during the day. It looks like a beautiful weekend, um, but make sure you pay attention to the weather. They also need athletic shoes like tennis shoes and long pants. If they want to zip line, they are not allowed to do that in flip flops or shorts. So make sure they have those items. On Saturday, we have all those games I was telling you about, and a lot of those are coordinated by teams. And uh, Ryan has set up team colors for each of the teams to wear on Saturday. We will be providing them with a the bandana uh, that is in their team color. So we're asking all of the students to wear their team color on Saturday. So if you're team red, come decked out in red. If you're team green, come decked out in green on Saturday. However they want, if they want to wear face paint, if they want to wear tutus, whatever more the better let's make it fun and have a good time with that the list for those team groups are also going to be in this email so make sure you take a peek and see which team your students on so that way you can know what color to bring p b and j if you forget everything else on the list the most important thing to bring is your pen your journal and your bible they're going to need these at every single session they will not have access to their phone app so that does not count if your student does not have a Bible, please get with me, Roland or Ryan, and we'd be happy to make sure that they do have one. We do have some available um, that we can get to them. Clean clothes for Sunday to come home. Alrighty, and then medications. We're super excited this year because we are bringing Miss Holly Richardson along. She is one of our safety team members here at Gateway. She is going to make sure that we are safe all weekend long. She's also gonna handle all of our medications. So she will be responsible for handing out medications when it's time for those students to take them. We ask that you put those in a Ziploc bag with a Sharpie on the outside that says there's your student's name and the dosage and the time that they need to take that medication. There's a big long list of things not to bring. You can check those out in the email. Uh, students can bring their cell phones, but here's what we're planning on doing. This weekend, it's called the pause, right? So we're taking, whoops, we're taking a pause from cell phones with students this weekend. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna allow them to have their phones while they're on the bus all the way to camp. Once we get to camp, before they get off the bus, we're going to ask them to power down those cell phones, power down those Apple watches, all those things that they have. And we're gonna go ahead and take those and put them in a secure place. They will not have access to them the entire weekend until on Sunday morning when we're on the bus coming back home. We will power them up, give them back to them. They can charge them on the bus. Uh, this is a really cool opportunity for them to unplug, no distractions, and just take a minute to enjoy nature, enjoy each other, and learn about Jesus. So I think that's about it for the packing list. Uh, oh, I forgot. On 
Friday. Part of our game is outdoors at night. So we're asking everyone to wear camo or camo colors if you don't have any camouflage on Friday when we leave. Uh, so go ahead and get decked out in your camo. It's gonna make that late night game a lot of fun. So two kind of opportunities for specific clothes items. Camo on Friday, team color on Saturday, whatever you want on Sunday. Makes it pretty easy. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, uh, call me. Our numbers are in the email. Roland, myself, and Ryan's cell phone numbers are in there. So feel free to give us a call if you have any questions uh, or any concerns. We are super excited. We'll see you on Friday.